good fucking morning. It's your girl Annie Boom Fanny. And I look like a dust mite. This gets on my absolute nerves. Anyway, um what am I doing? What am I talking about today? Um I just wanted to ask you guys what would you do? So Somebody, how can I, I'm going to say hypothetically speaking. I have a friend, and I've known her since we was young girls, and um, maybe a few years ago, her baby father wrote something to me on um, Facebook. Like, he wrote something that I felt was like, okay, it's, you know, somebody doesn't say something that's outright inappropriate, but it was like, okay, I don't know if I'm reading into this too much or, so, he had did one of those. He probably did it twice, I can't remember. Um, and I didn't say anything about it. I was just like, okay, whatever, that was weird. Um, so then a few years ago on um, on Instagram he wrote something um, and I can't say like the exact details because it, it would expose who this person is um, so yeah um, he wrote something that was inappropriate and again me trying to make like I don't need trying to rationalize and me trying to say like oh no he's not doing that and he really is like what he wrote on Instagram when I read it I was like okay this is weird this is inappropriate I'm not bugging so I forgot he had did that so this was I don't know how long ago I forgot how many years ago that was um it said last year yeah it said last year when I looked at the message so then he wrote something again and then asked what I tell on him. So my question to you guys is at what point do I tell this particular person like, hey, get your man's them or should I even because this person is dependent on this person. This person lives with this person. This person has a family with this person. So, and I'm not engaging him. I haven't responded. I haven't replied to anything. Um, yeah, I, I, I never understood why when people know somebody got a girl, they even reply. I'm not even going to reply because in your head you feel, you might feel like you you got a chance and you don't. So I'm just going to ignore you. But whatever, that's a topic for another day. No, it's not. It's today's topic. So anyway, um, yeah, what do you guys think I should do? Should I say something to her or should I just keep it as is because... He's had past discrepancies and transgressions. This would be nothing new to her. Um, I know before I had a, a, a this girl that we used to hang with, her man tried to holler at me in the club, straight up. I don't know if he knew who I was or he just didn't give a fuck. Um, and I had told my best friend to tell her and she didn't leave the dude alone. So she would bring him around sometimes and I would be like, this nigga's slime, bro. Why is you, why is you hanging with him? <laughs> why is you with him? But yeah, um, first off, when I saw him, he was with another woman. He wasn't even with my friend. And then he tried to holler at me once the girl he was with wasn't with him no more. Maybe for everybody. 
they be for everybody. So, I guess my question is, um, would you guys tell me, because I found, I've, I've told, even though it's a different girl in a different situation, I've told before, like, hey, your man is slime, A, B, and C, and nothing has happened. <laughs> Nothing happened. So, um, I don't know what to do. Especially being that this situation is more, way more intricate than that other situation. Um, Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Um, so yeah, I've had somebody else that I know. I've had their husband say something that was a little weird to me. And I think they did it twice. And the first time they did it, I didn't really catch it. The second time they did it, I was like, what? Like, because I couldn't understand what they were trying to imply. So, when I said that, they was like, oh, forget it, or, you know, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> and I had told that person's sister, like, hey, they had said something to me, and I'm not sure if I'm just, you know, reading too much into it, but it was a little funny style. First of all, why are you inboxing any other woman if it's not concerning your wife or your girl? Um, I am not a, a, I'm not the home wrecking type. I don't think, I'm not one of them women that feel like they got one up on another woman just because they man trying to talk to me because we all know men try to talk to any and every so it doesn't make me feel special you're not doing me any favors you're not boosting my ego bitches that think like that like oh yeah her name was in my inbox you need that validation I don't sisters before misters <laughs> okay I don't need to have one up on another woman. I don't give a fuck. What she eat don't make me shit. Yeah, so. Yeah, this is so good. Yeah, I never understood that. I never understood purposely allowing somebody else's man to flirt with you and engaging him. Or purposely, intentionally going after somebody else's man. There's niggas that lie. You don't know they got girlfriends, wives, kids, all types of shit. That's one thing. But <clears throat> to go in there just straight up Oh, I don't give a fuck. That's not on my heart, baby. That's not on my heart. And you'll have women that, that'll really justify, like, oh, everybody cheats, or my man cheated on me, so... And it's it just, I don't know. It ain't in me. It will never be in me. There's a higher power that I answer to. I don't answer to myself. I answer to a higher power. And if I do something that makes me feel like this is wrong and you know it's wrong, but you're still doing it just for a boost of ego validation or because you hurt, then there's somebody else that I have to answer to. There's a higher power, excuse me, that I have to answer to. People just be doing things just for self. And your day's going to come. 
But, um, yeah, I'm not holier than thou, but if there's things that I can control or things that I know outright, there's things that you know outright is right from wrong or whatever, whatever. I'm going to try my best to, to do the right thing. I have to try my best. There's times where, you know, y'all know me. <laughs> I got my shit with me. But one thing I'm not, I'm not a grimy bitch. Okay? So, um... Yeah, it's just really sad. Because, uh, you know, another thing is, which, what is weird, because it's, it's, it's real... At, at a certain point, it's just straight up maliciousness. I get that... I, I feel that I'm attractive, alright? I get that there's going to be men that feel that I'm attractive. Right? But if you know... I know your girl. Why me? Why are you playing with me like that? There's other full lip, brown skin, booty packing girls on the planet that you can slide up in their inbox. But out of all of them, you have to slide up in mine and you know that I know your girl. If that's not ill intended, if that's not malicious, if that's not evil spirited, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. And then that brings me to that situation where, um, you know, I just discovered that uh, Diana, Diana and Ahmet is no longer together. So she has a story where she is talking about she named the dude Mitch and the dude Mitch knew had a girlfriend and the girlfriend was a big fan of uh, Diana and Matt more specifically Diana so she would watch her Diana's videos with her boyfriend and her boyfriend made it his business to holler at Diana so Diana didn't know the whole situation with him or whatever whatever but it's just so it's the the malice that being and, I, and I'm just saying the male species because that's, you know, what I date. But I, I am fully aware that there are some grimy, fucked up women out here that be fucking people's fathers and sons and cousins. So, um, yeah. It's very odd. Like, of all people on the planet, y'all be going to people that your partner knows. So you can't tell me that you, you 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 didn't mean no harm. You can't apologize for something like that. You know full damn well that there was a higher possibility of me finding out with somebody I know as opposed to somebody I don't know. And you didn't give a fuck. Pity first, Debbie. 13 minutes. I'm looking kind of voluptuous today. You know, I'm looking crusty, but still. Um, yeah, so. I'm going to ask again. Because y'all not answering me. Do I tell her? Okay. Let me know. Um... Yeah, do I tell her? Because at this point, it's making me uncomfortable. Yeah, it's making me uncomfortable. Um, damn. I don't know. I don't know if I want to tell her. I don't know. I think I'm going to call somebody and ask them their opinion because they know the person um yeah so i'm about to go to the gym after the gym i'm gonna give leho a pedicure because his feet look like uh tyrannosaurus rexositis tyrannosaurus rexositis yeah so he's in the room right now um 
go to the gym, come back, give him a pedicure, and then I'm going to wash my hair. Um, I don't know if I'm cooking today. Uh, Low-key, I'm in the mood for a uh, big chicken. So, yeah, I might make that. But anyways, comment below. Bye, guys.